Caden relapsed again the end of August. And at that time, Rob and I really knew in our hearts that, you know, although a bone marrow transplant was supposed to be two weeks away, that it probably wasn't going to be coming at all. The cancer was too strong. The cancer was smart. The doctors in the hospital will find every option that they have to try and cure your child. And essentially, we were trying to kill our child to save our child. In our heart, relapsing meant we knew we were going to probably lose him. He basically said, you know, if you want, we could continue, we could try another chemo, we could try something else, and we just want to take him home. And Dr. Lewis, actually, he shocked me. He said, okay. He said, take your baby home. So we took Caden home, and we had a magical few days. did everything that we could to make his last few weeks with us special. He had to have Mars Mission Legos. You know, we'd build it and play, and unfortunately, the last piece of Lego that we did build, he never did get the opportunity to play with. He was too weak. He held one of the spaceships for about a minute, and then he said, you can put it down, I'll play with it when I come back. He didn't come back. <laughs> I sat down with Caden. He was playing Lego on the floor. And I said, Lego bug, honey, do you think we could have a chat? And he said, yeah, mom, can I still play Lego? I said, sure, honey, you play Lego and, and we'll talk. I said, Caden, they couldn't get rid of the sickness. The bugs in your blood, they're not gonna do any more chemo or anything. And um, you're gonna get sick, Caden. I just can't stay. I didn't want to say the word die, so I didn't. I was really hoping he'd put two and two together so I didn't have to say it. And they said, so my white blood cells are sick, but I'm not sick right now, right, Mom? I said, no, you're not sick right now. He said, I can still play right now. I said, yeah, you can still play. Okay, I can still play. And then he said, Mommy, why are you crying? And he said, because I'm sad. I'm going to break the heart. You. And he took his blankie and he wiped my eyes. And I thought, I can't believe I just had this conversation with my son. He's not even six. I held him in my arms and then he said, Mommy, I want you to play that song, that summer song. So I went and got the Mamma Mia CD and I put on our last summer. <laughs> so I had to sing it to him. And as I'm singing it, I'm listening and I'm holding him. I'm thinking this is our last summer together. And I'm not going to forget a moment of it. It was the last night that he slept at home. <laughs> I don't know if I'm still a mom. I feel like a mom. But I don't have the, you know, the gift of little feet around the house and the sticky floors and the handprints on the walls and the, you know, the, the nasty bathrooms and the, and the unmade beds and the toys. <laughs> I have Rob, but it's not quite the same. <laughs> so I'm, I'm very lost. After Caden had entered a palliative care at the hospital, he was quite unresponsive. His body was tired. It was just Rob, Caden, and I alone. And Rob and I were snuggling up with Caden on his bed, just talking. Rob had talked to Caden earlier. I guess Rob had purchased a ring. And he'd asked Caden if it was okay if he could marry his mom. <laughs> Rob proposed to me that night. And I turned to Caden and I said, Is this what you want too, baby? I must be strong. And he lifted his arms and he had said yes. It took all of his energy to be able to share that with us. And that was the last time he responded to it. I'm never going to forget that moment that sealed our family. His beaded journey now is 17 feet long and 5 inches. Everything that he accomplished in 26 months is on that chain. Caden's last bead on his journey as an angel, it actually is, for when he took his wings. And it's him. It's his accomplishments. And we're so proud of him. He's living with us now in our hearts. And we miss him so much. <laughs>